issues. On one hand, the joint family system, and the other hand, the nuclear family system. What is the Islamic perspe perspective about it? And this is where we'll have to go to the Quran and the seerah of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad Salawatullah Alayhim Ajma'in. What, what does Islam say about it? Does it, Islam go with the joint family system? Or does it totally agree with nuclear family system? Islam actually has looked at both systems. It has taken the positive elements of both and it had left alone the negative elements of both. What Islam would say, and this is what I would like to say that you know, Islam has preferred. I hope the elders don't get it wrong here. Islam has preferred. I'm using the word preferred before because this is not an issue of wajib and haram. Islam has preferred what I would call semi-detached family system. Or if you want to call it semi-attached family system whether you're looking at the glass half full or half empty. I'm using these terms from the real estate business. So Islam talks about semi-attached family system. What do I mean by that? It means that, you know, the families, as far as their households are concerned, as far as their makan are concerned, they are separate. But as far as their hearts are concerned, they are not separate. They can live in separate housing. Whether they are neighbors or far away, it doesn't matter. But they have to maintain the relationship by the value in Islam, which is known as Silatul Raham. What does Silatul Raham mean? Even in Urdu, we use that term. Raham means the womb. Sila means the link. Sila to Raham means the relationship that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has established among the members of the family because of the common mother. And that is a tie which has to be maintained at all the times. So you can have grown up children who after marriage move away from the parents. There wouldn't be a problem as long as they have still maintained their relationship, their attachment, and their sila with their parents and the rest of the family. Salawat on that. Let me just put the three systems in perspective here. The joint family system, where the makan is same, but the hearts are divided. They live under the same roof. But if you look inside, they are not together. In the nuclear family system, the houses are divided and even the hearts are apart. What Islam is talking about is that you can have separate household, but your heart, your heart should be linked and close to one another. This issue of Silatul Raham and its opposite, Qata'ul Raham, to severe the ties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has established among the relatives, this is an issue which has been mentioned in the Quran so many times that it's more than the mention of namaz in the Quran. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wama amara an yusa. The command he has given to maintain the ties. Or the prohibition where he, where he says, where the ties are bring, being broken. So this is actually the foundation of the family life in Islam. That when it comes to the physical space and makan, you can be separate from one another. As long as your hearts are there together. Your concern is there and your love for one another is still there. Salawat for me. And I think this is what we have to understand. 
Mashallah, you know, the Im immigrant generation also now is reaching to the old age. They're grown up children. You know, they're, getting, they're already married. They have grandchildren now. And this is where we have to realize that we have to look at things from the perspective of Islam. In laws on both sides, have to look at this issue. That, you know, the new family, they need space. They need kind of privacy. They need to establish their own roots. As parents or in-laws become a good Baghban, become a good gardener. You know, in summer, what do you do here? You already have true, you know, uh, true, uh, two grown-up, you know, mature plants. You don't want to put a new one in the middle. The first thing you do is you look at the distance. Because the mature plants, if they are already that close, and if you plant a new one in between, where the sun is not coming, that new plant is not going to get energy, it will die and wither away. So you need that space in between. So when you are planting a new family in your own garden, Look at that space that they require to establish their own roots, to create this bond strongly among themselves. And this is as far as the perspective of the, you know, the parents on both sides are concerned. And on the other side, of course, the new family has to look at the issues. That in Islam, there is nothing like just moving away and that's it. You know, that relationship, Silatul Rahm has to be there. The support has to be there. The respect has to be there from the other side. <laughs>